Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Are you growing old? Well, let's find out. <laughs> this is a good one. Um, when you're one years old, what do you focus on? You focus on trying to learn how to walk. By the time you're two, you want to try to straight, stay dry. You want to, you're keeping dry is what you're hoping for. You're potty trained, I would hope. When you turn 16, what's everybody want to do? They want to drive. So they're looking towards getting their license and learning how to drive. When you're 20, no, this is a good one. When you're 20, except I didn't. <laughs> I have to wait till I was almost 30. You want to have sex. Well, yeah, everybody wants to have sex at that age, maybe. Um, when you're 30, that's about when I had my kids. You're having kids, so that's what you're having at that age. Then 40, you're still working. And at 65, what do you think about? You think about retiring. Some of us will retire sooner. Some of us will retire later. I was a little bit later. And then at 70, you think about having grandkids. Well, a lot of you are thinking, well, I was a grandma at 39 or 40. Well, you had your kids young. <laughs> I, I, my daughter, Jessica, is exactly 30 years difference. 30 years younger than me, yes. Mm -hmm. And so, but she had her children when she was in her 20s, where I had mine starting at 29. I had my first child. Um, at 80, what are you thinking about again? You're thinking about having sex again, because now it's not so easy, I guess. And at 85, what's happening? They're trying to get you to either stop driving or they want you to take a driving test. But driving is on your mind again. Then at 90, <laughs> you're thinking about trying to stay dry again. You're trying to keep dry. And at 95, you're thinking about walking. So our lives go from trying to walk to ending with trying to keep walking, trying to keep walking. And the thing that we worry about the most is our memory and our mobility. We always think that our mind is going to go or we become forgetfulness or we're not able to do certain things um, that we fear that we won't be able to walk. Well, today I did a lot of, because um, my balance is really wicked. I have terrible balance and I think it's a lot to do with my inner ear. So I, I watched a video today where I had to stand on one foot and, and it was for 20 seconds. Then you switch and you stand on the other foot for 20 seconds. Well, I can make it on the one foot for 20 seconds. The other foot, well, not so good. I made it to maybe 15. Oh, you're going to try it. He thinks he's so smart. <laughs> he has good balance. You know, he can put his socks on standing up. I have to sit down to put my socks on. And, you know, after a while, putting your socks on is going to be a problem. Buttoning buttons is a problem. You find that your fingers don't seem to work like they used to. Tying shoes is still easy. I like tying shoes. That, I think, is fun. And tying, um, threading a needle. I figured out a way to thread a needle really easy now because I used to have such a hard time. The, the older you look at, he's still standing. Are you? You're not. Oh, yeah, you are just standing. Never mind. I thought his foot. <laughs> I thought you were cheating nope. with your little foot on the bench. Nope. But you're not. He's got good balance. That's why when I drive the motorcycle, I want the extra wheels because I know my balance is stinky. It's off. And I have a feeling that the inner ear is the problem because that's probably why I get motion sickness. He borrowed an inverter table from a friend of his. It's in the other room. But um, he can go upside down with no problem. When I, when I tried it, he had to take me slowly down and slowly up because I will want to vomit if I go too fast. Oh, now he's doing the other leg. Okay, Mr. Stork. My rooster can stand on one leg. That's pretty good. Um, that was about a minute on the first one. Wow, you're pretty good. Then you had to do, then there was other things you had to do besides stand on one leg. You had to um, cross over your foot 
and step over. You had to cross and step, cross and step. And then you had to step over a line. You had to jump with two feet over the line, like back and forth. And then you had to bring one foot over and the other one back over the line and keep doing that for 20 seconds. And then you had to do um, a squat where you you put both feet on the floor and raise your toes as high as you can and squat down and then try to um, you just squat. And then there was another one where you had to get doing like a plank and you had to bring your knee up as high as you could or your foot up as high as you could and his foot went past his hands. Mine didn't even make it to my hands with you laying like a plank. But it's amazing how you you just start losing the ability to do certain things. I used to be able to stand on my head. I can't even bring my feet up and my father stood on his head at 85 and I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I can't do it at my age and I'm, I've got 20 years to go at least. Mm -hmm. Just about, not quite, a little less than 20 years. <laughs> I forget how old I am. But anyways, that's what I was thinking about today. I was thinking about, are we getting old? Well, it's all in the head, as they say, mm -hmm. but your body will tell you if you are or you aren't. And another thing that I watched, oh, my nose itches, this is, this is true, I'm, I really watched it, <clears throat> where they were talking about how, with, because we're always texting, your neck is down like this, and you're doing whatever, and you're on the computer, and so you've got this turkey neck where you want to go out. And that's bad. And they used to say when I was in school, your head weighed seven pounds. Well, now they say the head weighs 10 to 14 pounds. What the? Our head must have gotten bigger. That's probably more brains. More brains, yeah, sure thing. <laughs> more, more empty space or something. I don't know, more lead up there. But you're supposed to try to tuck your chin way back in. And then they did a W thing where you put your hands up like this and you put your hands and then they did a, like a Y thing and your head has to stay back. Got to make sure you keep your head back. And there, there was a lot of things I was watching, but it's amazing. And to make sure that your head and your body is still straight, just put your feet, put your heels against the wall, lean your back against the wall and now put your head against the wall. And if you can still do that, you're still pretty good. If you can't do that, you're getting crooked. So I guess that's it for today. Mm -hmm. Just health and wellness type yeah. stuff. Are you getting old? Nope. As we age, we're not getting old. <laughs> we're just getting better. Yep. <laughs> As they say. I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.